You know, it, it, Brett, I want to share with you uh, an interview that I did with one of the American hostages uh, that was released on that night, and he said something very interesting about that particular trip. He said that they had gone to the airport and they were waiting, but they were told they could not take off until another plane landed. Here's a clip from that interview that uh, happened on Fox Business just They took ago. you out of your prison and brought you to an airport? Yeah, we were at the airport for a night, and, you know, they told oh, you us... you slept there at the airport? Minute. Yes, for a night. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they told us, are you going to be there for 20 minutes? But it took, like, hours and hours. We slept at the airport, and when I asked them why we, you don't let us go, because the plane was there, pilot was there, everyone was mm -hmm. ready that we leave the country. They said we are let, waiting uh, for another plane, and until that plane doesn't come, we never let so you go. So he, he said, look, we were there, we were waiting, we are all set, ready to go, Brett, but we couldn't take off because they kept telling us we had to wait for another plane to come. Now, he doesn't yeah. know what that plane is, but uh, gosh, that doesn't sound good. Well, it sounds like it was that unmarked cargo plane, and you talk about evidence of a quid pro quo or ransom. Um, this is circumstantial, but it does time up with you know, what that man was experiencing on the plane as you looked at that plane sitting there uh, waiting to go until the other one lands. Mm -hmm. The other thing is that, you know, since that deal, Trish, Iran has not changed its stripes. Iran has not turned around and, and suddenly become a, a great player in the region. It, is, it has taken two other American hostages since that moment. It has launched four ballistic missiles thumbing its nose at the world community and U.N. international uh, treaties. And so in addition to the circumstances of this payment, uh, there is the reality of the Iran the U.S. is, is dealing with. Yeah, you know, you wonder uh, what kind of precedent we set for them. Now, you're going to be talking.